Welcome back everyone, this is Double. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. I know it's been beautiful here. Me and my wife are just taking it easy this weekend. So, ooh, went running around, visited the card shop earlier today. Didn't find anything good. They had a bunch of 2022 series top one. I didn't get none. So, I'll wait for it to come down. I, I figure middle of summer it'll be cheap. So, but we're going to go oh, do another box of repacked wax. I think this is my eighth box opening. <coughs> One of my favorite products to open. Hope you don't get bored with it. So, we're going to open it up here and see what we can come up with. Should be getting into the boxes where they put a Nolan Ryan rookie card in one of them. Don't know which boxes it was. I got them mixed up when I was trying to clean up. And you never know what you're going to find in these. It'd be sweet to find one, but it won't be the end of the world if it don't. Okay, the two cards I'm looking for is uh, 65 Tony Perez rookie card to finish my big red machine out. And then the 68 uh, Nolan Ryan rookie card. So, it's only two in the 60s that I don't have of the major stars, rookie stars. It was, well, a lot of people don't consider Tony uh, Perez a major star, but he was the heart and soul of the Big Red Machine. He was to me. Okay, here we go. Bill Gillison open, uh, opens it up. Just going to be looking at Hall of Famers and Ricky Card. Speaking of that... Nolan Ryan, 83. Sweet looking card. Very well centered. Well, it's off up to, uh, top and bottom. Yeah, good bit, but it's still Nolan. There's a 78 or 79 Craig Reynolds. Set him to the side, all the 70 cards. Clark Smith's rookie card. This is a newer card. That's a 21. Yeah, most of my new cards I got where I just uh, get, send them down to my son. He, he deals uh, more in the newer stuff. Andrew Dawson, the Hawk. Eddie Murray, Glenn Davis. Big bats at first. They were he, both of them was that. Tom uh Russell's Mike Heath that's 78. No, that's 81. Excuse me, 81. I get them years confused right there. 1970. Paul uh Caranova. Nice. There we go. Like pulling the older ones out. Mookie Wilson. Bob Clark. There's another Nolan, 89 Fleer. There again, it's still off top to bottom. Left and right is pretty good. Top to bottom is pretty bad. Still not decided if I'm going to send some more cards to HGA or send them to SGC. Uh, what do y'all think about it? Oh, we got bumped. Sorry about that. Which one would you send them to? I love HGA's design and their holders. They're a little slow, but uh, they give good grades, fair grades. There's a Bob Miller, 59. Nice card. Sharp. We're going to go ahead and sleeve that one up. Because, I mean, it's a nice 59. He, it's just a common, but... You don't see very many cards. It's got a little stain on there, but uh, the corners are sharp. Oh. I've seen a lot of uh, SGC's uh, got a great turnaround. Willie Mays turned back the clock. <clears throat> but PSA's had the question. I ain't paying $50 a card. That's just ridiculous. 
There's a Kmart collector card, I guess. Collector series, Gil Hodges. Made in 85. Don't know much about that. And Del Murray. 88 Fleer. Set him over to the other side there. I put him in my Braves collection. Got stickers on the, on the front. No, that's just a spacer. That's a sticker. It comes with all these. Gerald Perry. There's Tony Oliva, 71 tops. Frank Tanana. We got a bunch of these in the last pack we opened. 77. Lee Smith. One great closer. 90 Leaf. Yeah, 90 Leaf. That's really nice. It's sharp. Kevin Brown. A newer card in here. Nolan Ryan, uh, Nolan Ryan most strikeouts lifetime. And let me know if you uh, what you want to see. I've got some 90 basketball and football if you'd be interested in opening up some of that and taking a look at it. Uh, I don't care much for the modern sports too much. Uh, Ozzy Smith and, Lo and, and Lonnie Smith, teammates. If you'd be interested in, in some football or some older basketball, Bruce Suter. 78, 79, Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer. Yeah, back in the 80s and really even to the mid-90s, basketball, nobody wanted their cards. I mean, you could buy boxes cheap. There's Dale Murray again, Murphy. Bowman's best. Uh, no name prospects. Steve Avery. Turn back to clock. Yankee Reggie Jackson. Ken Griffey Sr., part of that big, bra uh, big, red, big red machine. This was 87 when he was with the Braves. All of, should be in the hall. I mean, his number, he meant more than his numbers produced. Rich Gossage. That is uh, 81. Diamond King Willie Randolph, Pete Vukovich, 79. Last couple of boxes, we ain't hit no really big stars, but we've hit some good, decent, decent cards, but nothing big. Daryl Evans. A uh, pretty doggone good player. This is 79. O'Graw. Tony Perez. There he is. Big doggy himself. Just talking about him. George Foster. He goes with my uh, Big Red Machine bundle. Steve Garvey, good player. Tommy John, should Tommy should be in the hall. <clears throat> well over 200 wins and a, and a ton of innings. Sparky Anderson. It is a 78 manager as a Reds player and as a manager of the Reds. Then he went to Detroit and won another title. 
He knew how to man manage talent. Reds was and also ran team when he got there in 70. <clears throat> and uh, all he did was win uh, from 70 to 76. Won a uh, division title uh, five times, four pennants, and two World Series. There's 71. Hey, Greg Luzinski, rookie card. And Scott Reed. Greg was a real good player. He, he was one of those uh, all or nothing. Fitting to the good today's game. Larry Bittner. That's uh, 79. Manning Trio was a pretty doggone gutsy player. Dan Ugga, Atlanta Braves throwback. Barry Bonds, after 87. I think that's his rookie card in 87. I'll we'll set that to the side and make sure. And then we'll put that as a giveaway when I reach 1,000. We're going to be giving away 20 cards when I reach 1,000. Don Hood Orioles. 74. I got missing some paper. What really takes a while is to go back and break these down in sets. Uh, different manufacturers than years. Hey, Roger Craig. This is a 58, I think it is. 58 didn't have the year on the back. 59, one of the two. I'll have to make sure. He's a good manager. Yeah, pulled a decent card there. Uh, 1970 Walt Hinchley. Walter John Hinkerley, 1970. Craig Reynolds, Danny Jackson. I'll move these back out of the way just a little. Give me a little room. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. It's 83 Fleer checklist, not marked on. Always good. Bill Madlock. Lance Parrish, catcher, 79 with the Tigers. Joe Johnson starts us off here. Vita Blue. Part of a two. Uh, you see what I did? That, it takes two cards to make the whole picture. Something they done but the, that year. I think it was 83. Yeah, I believe it was 83 they done that. Pat Howell was a rookie card back then. Joe Nolan with the Braves catcher, 79. Frank Wright was a great athlete. Phil Negro, Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, Famer. What I want to say and what comes out don't always end up being the same. Kevin Mass, George Hendricks, Jose Canseco, 40 steals, 40 home runs, first 44. 40, 40 player in history. Ken Griffey, when he was with the Yankees. 
83. Said he did not enjoy his time playing in New York. Oh, Jim Cott, 75. There's a Hall of Famer. It's come out of the 75 set. Light up blue. Eric Davis had some pretty good years. He got hurt in the 90, game four of the 90 World Series, and it just seemed like he was never the same. Had to be hospitalized, diving to make a catch in center field, I think it was. And he just never was the same player after that. Rusty Stobbs, outfielder DH. These 81s confuse me sometimes. Diamond Kings, all-time record wins. Cy Young and Jack Cheesebro. He won 41 wins in 1904. I don't think that'll ever be touched anymore. And Cy Young, 511 wins. And Greg Maddox is fifth on this list nowadays. <clears throat> he would probably uh, probably been third if it wasn't for the stri strike shortened season in uh, in 94 and early 95, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. He was on a roll that year. He would have probably won at least uh, 10 more games, which would have put him in. He had, I think, 564, so that would have put him ahead into third place. Carlton Fisk, 77. In action shot. And uh, Rod Gaspers, 1970 Mets. Cool. Fergie. Fergie Jenkinson's Hall of Famer right there. Next week, next Sunday, we're going to be opening some 70 wax packs. I've got a, a few saved up now. Anywhere from 76, 77, 78, and 79. I think I got 10 or 12 packs I've done, picked up here and there. We'll be opening them next week. Ooh, I thought, thought that might have been Mickey. Lewis uh, Suppressor, uh, shortstop, American League. It's a 1958 All Star selection. Put that over the side. Alice Johnson, 72. Indians, what the back looked like back then. Goose Gossage. Hall of Famer there. Marquise Grissoms was a pretty doggone outfielder. And Steve Garvey. Most consecutive uh, scoreless uh, games, first base. He was a great first base fielding, fielding first base. Never liked the Dodgers until they got the World Series and whatever National League team went, except for when the the uh, Tigers won it in 84 and the Royals in 85. I always rooted for the National League team, but never the Mets. Never. Never the Mets. Don Sutton, Rudy May, ERA leaders. Let me put that over here. Phil Negro, Hall of Famer. Just could not bring myself to root for the Mets. I wanted George Brett uh, to win it in 85. It's such a great player to get a world championship. Batting average, season, riser at Hornsby, career Ty Cobb there again. These numbers will not, never be approached. He hit 424 in 1924. And Ty Cobb's... Uh, Career average was 367. I mean, that's just unreal. There again, they didn't try to hit home runs. They just hit the ball and put it in play. And a lot of these players, if it just, when they go into that shift, if they just slap it the other way, they could walk to second base. Just lay down a bunt. Just punch the ball down the third base line when they, when they shift over. If you're a left-handed hitter, they're they're giving you a 325 average. 
Joe, uh, Joe Torres, Hall of Fame manager. That's when he was managing the Braves. But, you know, he made his fame with the Yankees. Sammy Sosa. There it is. Speaking of Mr. Brett, George Brett, nine, uh, 92 upper deck. And we ain't found a real big name yet. There's a 72. Art Sham, uh, Shams, Shamsky. Name looks so simple until I go to say them. Then it just will not come out the way I want it to. <laughs> Bump the camera again. Sorry about that. My son's going to be coming up spending some time this summer. I'm, I'm going down there. We're going to try to find me a better camera. I'm going to figure out this lighting problem. It's stuff like you never think about when you watch something and, and you realize how much time and effort goes into lighting and, cam and you know, the camera set up. Don Manley, Fleer, 87 Fleer, put him right there, he should be in the hall, I've always said, another throwback card, anyone, anytime you get a Mickey Mantle card, with Mickey on it, 75 tops, Boy, if Mickey could have played today and and had modern medicine, ain't no telling the numbers he would put up today. A lot of people don't know he played hurt a lot of the time, and all they could do was just kind of massage it and wrap it up and send him back out there. Nolan Ryan, that is a uh, eighty-two tops. Harold Baines, Fleer, eighty-four Fleer. Tom Greaves, 75 tops. Ted Simmons, Hall of Fame catcher. 89 uh, Fleer. We're more than halfway through. Glad you stick around if you're still here with me. I know it's a long video. I might start breaking these boxes up because it's so long. I know a lot of people don't like it. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, 86 Don Russ. Uh, Merv Redman, 77. Still no big name cards yet. Robin Yount, Hall of Fame shortstop. I'll jerk him out of there. Joe Decker. That is a uh, 74. Really nice shaped card for the Twins. There's a back. No stains on it. It's a little off center. Dave Parker, the Cobra, should be in the hall, too. They overlooked a lot of players. 79, Larry Cock, catcher. Bill Buckner. Montreal uh, Future Stars, Terry Francona, who turned out to be a great uh, manager. Set him aside because he'd probably go into the hall as a manager. 
They need to make manager cards like they used to. Carlton Fist, probably the second greatest catcher in history of the game. Mike Tyson, that is uh, 77 cards. Not the uh, boxer, but baseball player. Oh, yeah. We got one. John C. Powell, Cincinnati Red Legs. It's 59, so that is a 58 one that's not got a year on it. That 81 again gets me every time. Oh, there's a Dago uh, Seguir Red Sox pitcher, 75. Let's move some of these back over right the way so I don't knock them over. We're down to this uh, seven packs to go count in this one. I do apologize for the length of it. I think now and I will be breaking these up into half boxes to, just to keep the uh, video shorter. Raleigh Fingers, most saves in 1981. Lou Pinella, sweet Lou. When he was with the Yankees, 75. Nice. A really good player. Pretty decent manager. Had a good run in baseball. Dennis Eckersley. Big time reliever. Tim McGraw, Angel, 74. No, yep, 74. First base outfielder. And here's a Cal Needman. 59. Cubs catcher. Robin Yount, Hall of Fame shortstop. Yogi Berra, father and son, Dale Berra. Put that down for Yogi. 77, Johnny Oates, catcher for the Phillies. Alan Tremble, 85, Don Russ. That's one reason uh, him was when I wanted the Tigers win in 84. I think uh, Alan Tremble deserved a world championship. And plus, Sparky was managing. Jack Morris was on that team. Kirk Gibson. And, uh, Ken Holtzman. 77 tops. Oh, Sal McGay, Brooklyn Dodgers. 57. Nice. Anytime you get a 50s cards. Don't know all the players in the 50s. I know more of them in the 60s and then really in the 70s. Asked my dad and he said he had no idea. He said they'd never had a television until well into the uh, late 60s. Him and my mom was married in 63 and they just never had a television. My uh, Petron, 79. We didn't have a color TV until 77. And the first thing I ever watched was the National League Championship Series in color between the Dodger, uh, 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 the World Series between the Dodgers and the, uh, no, there was a National League Championship Series, Dodgers and Phillies. 
Cal Ripken, 86 tops. The only time we saw colored when we went to the movies, and we didn't go to the movies that much. But watching that game, I thought that was great. I think we had a 15-inch TV, color TV. 14 or 15-inch back then. thought that was big. It was a lot more fun watching cartoons in color. I can tell you that. <laughs> Oh, uh, 79, Reggie Jackson, all-star car. Nice. Fred Lynn. 79, Terry Whitfield, Giants. Our last pack here. I do appreciate you hanging with me for 30 minutes if you're going all the way through. Wade Boggs. Not seen this in Dream Team score. I probably have it just in 1990. It's been a while since I opened up any of them. There's 79 Nito. I'll let y'all decide what that last name is for the Mets. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That was it. I think our big hit is here. Um, here, I'm pretty sure he's a Hall of Famer. I'm not sure. Like I say, I'm not up, all the way updated in the 50 superstars, but a, a sweet looking card. I know the mantles on there. But if you watched it all the way through, shoot me an email. And if I pick you, I'll send you a personal card. You know, uh, it'll be a rookie card. Can't say which one it'll be, but if you're watching this, let me know, and I'll send it out. I got the other 10 that won last week. I'm shipping out tomorrow. That's my goal, not Tuesday at the latest. But I do, as always, I really appreciate everybody watching and commenting. And, yeah, especially leave me a comment. I try to respond to everyone. Sometimes I got to go back and look for them. They don't always pop up on my alert board so i gotta go dig for them that's why i'm sometimes late responding but i do appreciate each and every one of you and i hope you have a great week and you may be safe you and your families and god bless all of y'all this is double i'm out